Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Tabletop Adventures. Uh, we had an interesting episode. You guys uh, took down all three Sentinels attacking the hut. The hut is now reformed. Hogger is passed out in the snow. He's stable, but uh, not conscious, really. Um, but you guys are, are relatively safe right now. Uh, the only thing that seemed out of the ordinary is Lilia saw a glint in the distance. I did indeed. Yes, you did. And uh, yeah, it's kind of up to you guys now. Uh, you're, you're sort of, for the, for the first time in a while, you're not locked in battle and you can kind of go where you please, so. I'm gonna make a bold choice. Okay. Not gonna mention the glint and we're not gonna investigate it. Whoa. I'm okay. Just, I'm just kidding. It's oh. clearly the thing to do. <laughs> oh, Come right. to hut if you want to live. <laughs> I'm gonna hustle into the hut. And I go into the hut. Hoggers warm up a bit. Hoggers passed out. Hoggers might be dead. So go get him. I can't heal. I can't grab him. I have I have one hand. Just to reiterate this. Will one of you two please go heal Hoggers? I shall go with you, Andrew, oh, to pull <laughs> Hoggers' body into the hut. Who I will help me? In the rules I will. of the spell, I think if Pervance leaves the area of the hut, it goes away. It's not uh, a concentration spell, it says, though. No, but it says if you leave the area. It, how is the area just considered the area of the hut, or is it's it? It's not okay. really specified. I don't know. Okay. Because it's cast on self. The spell ends if you leave its area, so 10 feet. Man, it's a mobile. How far is Hogger from the hut? Like. 20 feet in? He's about no, 15, 15, 20 feet was like I go, I'll go out and I'll... <laughs> Pervin says, ladies, you Although, know what to do. You, you would just cast Healing Word on him anyway, right? Me? Yeah, I can cast Healing Word. Healing Word is, has a 60 foot range. <sighs> Pervin's always got to clean up the mess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Healing Word to dear Haga, I cast. Okay. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little rest in this hut. Yeah, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rest as well. Okay, uh, first roll for healing word. Yeah, I've only got 18. Oh, do you have to roll for that? N I mean, you have to oh, roll to see how much you're healing. Much it is. Sorry, that's okay. Um, it doesn't it's gonna be one d4 healer. Sorry, it's two. Two. You're at two HP. Excellent. Awesome. But, a, but awake. Yes. So you kind of. Yep. Now don't forget, Hermes did not respond to Hogger's cries to uh, help him finish the, the fight. That's right. correct. Permits, I saw you attack that machine. Where were you? Uh, uh, Hoga, uh, uh, you are such a valiant warrior that why, why would I impede upon your, your fight? Well, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly done. <laughs> All right. Well, it was a good blow. You weakened it. But I wasn't strong enough to finish it off. There's no one stronger than you, dear Haga. Who ended up killing it? I killed one. I got a, I got one. You killed one? Yeah. Good Through. Show. Oh, Hogger, uh, that dagger that you've been holding on to in your socks? Yeah. I stole that. Oh, yeah, you turned it to stone. Dagger, you can have it. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's technically, it's turned into, it turned into stone. It's magic? It's right over there. It was yeah. There's Hogger. all these magical weapons yeah, everywhere. Yeah, every single axe you picked up, except for that one elf one that was sharp, is magic. Well. Dear Hugga, <laughs> We thought you would have caught on by now, actually. <laughs> one of them wasn't. Have <laughs> yeah. uh, you ever True. considered uh, welcoming your heart to the benefits of magic? I spit on the ground. No. <laughs> Mr. Hogger? That spit may ride with the driders, but <laughs> not with your best friend. Shove off. I'm going to sleep. Whoa. Hogger. Wow. Come on. No. Haven't we moved past this kind of behavior He's toward right. each I, other? I deserved it. Oh, Shove God. off. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but ups and downs with Kervins and Hogger. I love it. <laughs> How long does the hut Sh last? Eight, Eight hours. hours. To, to Hogger's credit, shove off is like... I'm going to sleep. Because yeah. yeah. when I told Hogger to shove off. Yeah, you got really You don't tell me to shove off. <laughs> <laughs> so you can dish it out, but you can't take it. Her parents <laughs> curls up and, and he, he goes to sleep, but. So, yeah, I guess we'll, I'll, do, I'll do a six hour rest. He's okay. sad, though. And the way, six, how does six hour rest work? You don't fully heal, right? 
Technically, it's an eight-hour rest, but... Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, I'll do eight hours then. Okay. Yeah, the Just hut lasts for eight hours, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, since I only need two hours, or four hours, mm -hmm. I'm going to watch for two hours toward the glint, mm -hmm. and then do my trance, and then watch for another two hours to see if it goes anywhere. Okay. Uh, can I have you roll a perception check, please? Um, 20. Okay, so uh, because you're an elf, uh, no one else in the party, even if they had rolled a natural 20, would be able to hear this. So this is something that is unique to you. Uh, it's thanks to your elven ears, actually. Yeah. Uh, you spent a lot of time in the forest. You could hear the smallest of twigs being snapped. Uh, and so you actually hear a, a small... What, is, what does the snap of a twig sound like? <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. Uh, you hear a very, very faint buzzing sound, but it's not its not constant. It's just like bzz, bzz. It's sporadic. It, it feels like, <clears throat> like some sort of electrical current is going irregularly through something. Can I tell where it's coming from? It's coming from the same direction as the glint. So currently it's, about, it's, it's southeast from the hut. You can't pinpoint exactly how far it is, but it's quite a ways away. Okay, so I'll I'll uh, I'll just pay attention, and if it if it stops or changes, I'll okay. I'll make note of it, I guess. And you're doing this for two hours. Okay, cool. Sleeping. Awesome. So, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, once you hear that that single time, it kind of goes away. Oh. Um, and at the end of the two hours, you don't hear anything else. Okay. Hmm. Uh, does Lilia have the ability to hear that sound and know where, like, it direct us toward that sound? Yes. So I told her that it's yeah. it's southeast. As soon but as like, we wake up, I'll take us over there. Okay. We're using my lab. Are you saying like, could she follow it? Basically. Right. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. If it were to, the only way that she could exactly follow it is if it kept happening. But uh, she at least has a general direction, and that's usually good enough for elves. So, so you said it, it happened. It happened once and then stopped, or it, like it happened for a little while and then went away. Right. That's a good question. So it happened for a little while. I would say the, the buzzing happened, went around for like a minute, mm. and then it stopped. Mm -hmm. It's hard like, to hear over Hogger snoring. Right. <laughs> and the glint. I can't see the glint. And okay. the glint is not crying. there. Okay. <laughs> 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 Wait, Pervin's, are you sleeping and crying? Yeah, Pervin's okay. snoring sleep and Pervin's sleep, sleep Still crying. getting okay. rest, that's just how Pervin's yeah. sleeps. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you want to meditate? I guess. Okay. Yeah, heal up. I mean, he, he, he's like dead, so he needs to sleep. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need won't a, be we much need to good heal to anybody, so. I, I mean, I guess I want to go follow it, but I could use the rest too, so. All right, so you guys are, you, you, since you only do it for four hours, you wake up first, Lilia. Yeah. Uh, nothing about the situation around the hut has changed. Okay. Uh, there, are, there are no sentinels outside your door. You don't hear any earthquakes. You hear no buzzing, and you see no glint. Glint Eastwood. <laughs> glint Southeastwood. Um, and then after a period of time, Hogger, Lilia, and Pervince also wake up. Um, I'm not crying. <laughs> Um, I say, uh, I carved a ladder in the ice wall to the south. Uh, we need to head southeast. I saw a glint on, upon the wall, and I also heard an erratic buzzing sound. Um, and I think that they might be clues to getting us out of here. Dude, Lali is so observant. Pray tell, are the uh, metal robot men still uh, surrounding the hut? They're all dead, Pervins. Yeah. Perhaps I shall go seek out their bodies to see what of materials I may find to replenish my entertainer's pack and my costumes. I love this idea. <laughs> I love it. And also, I mean, big shards of metal. <laughs> uh, one of them does still have a hogger axe in his leg. Mm. I go pick that up. <laughs> I go pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pick up that axe. Uh, so, Pervance, do you venture outside the hunt to uh, examine one of the, the bodies? He does. Okay. The hunt goes away anyway because it's been eight hours. Oh, yeah. yeah. Boom. Yep. The, hunt, the, the cold. Hunt is gone. 
So you guys are in the cold. Um, yeah. There's the way that we were doing it before with the the time thing was not great, and so there's going to be a new way that I'm going to try it with the cold, where basically I'm going to let you guys have a few actions. It'll be kind of like pseudo combat. So I'll give you I'll give you three actions. So Pervins, you're going to check out the the hut or yeah. the the corpse. That's one action, and then if you know, if you don't find a way to stave off the cold in two additional actions, uh, you'll take a little bit of damage. Um, but you go, as, I actually really, really like this person. I think you should take a point of inspiration for this. Uh, I don't Ooh. think you guys are as always on top of like searching things that you've killed uh, as good as you could be. Uh, so that's just a little bit of feedback, and I, I like this idea. Yeah, only one of us is a thief. I'm I'm dying to search the things that we kill. <laughs> if they always disappear, we get ported sure, away. Sure, <laughs> sure. That's fair. That's fair. Um, so, Pervince, you are specifically looking for ways to replenish your entertainers his, pack. His costumes. Okay, can I have you roll a perception check? Oh my gosh, if one of these has a costume in it. <laughs> roll a 20. Oh. Full Groucho oh, okay. Marks Plus outfit. Oh, it's 12. <laughs> Okay, Negative so, <clears throat> yeah. good lord. Um, the you kind of uh, examined the one that was that was prone and then got lightning bolted and was kind of laid out, um, and you're looking around and you, the, it's made so basically, it's a a giant breastplate um, that's completely hollow inside, uh, and it has sort of a armor around its feet and its leg both legs and its arms, and then it has like a giant helmet on that has a slit in it. All of these things are, like the feet are hollow inside, the head is hollow inside, the arms, etc. And connecting all of those things, really, really fine wood. Uh, this is only wood that you would find in elven forests. So that's, that's interesting. Uh, additionally, in the helm, uh, kind of on the on the inside of it, but on the back of the inside, uh, you see initials uh, etched into the helm, and the initials are GS. Whoa. So they're not mechanical? There aren't like gears and cogs inside? No. Whoa, magic. Well, a little creepy Elvenwood magic. Yeah. I go look at the, I look at the robots too, because I, I see from... Uh. Him looking at it. Okay. Perhaps we can use this lit wood for uh, creating a fire. That's a good idea, Pervins. This is very valuable wood. If we saved it, we could get a lot of money for it. Also, Pervins, you can just make huts. What are we making a fire for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the huts uh, are immobile, however. And I believe that we need to keep moving. Oh, sure. Let's just make a fire that we can move around we, with. We can <laughs> put torches or something. Torches in the storm? No, you can't have a torch in a storm. We'll be out of the storm in an hour and a half. When we stand around and talk about it more. Lilia, can you make horses for us to ride? Um, yes. Hey, Lilia. Can, you can summon horses that <laughs> really? we can ride? Yes. Wow. Let's do that. <laughs> hey, Lilia. Hi. Can you turn into a bear? Oh, God. oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone see any costumes? <laughs> um, I think that one's you know full what? of costumes. Honestly, you could use one of the helmets as, like, I mean, there's nothing inside that could be used for a costume. Are they too large for my head? So, uh, the, the helmet, I would say, is about five times as big as your halfling head. Oh, oh man. <laughs> That's a big old helmet. Can That's I sit helmet. in the helmet and then, and then get pulled through the snow, for like, like, like a sled, like a sled, like if it's tied to the back of a horse. Yes, there. Yes, that could absolutely happen. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> just wonder. That is, that is possible. Uh, yeah, oh, uh, the one other thing. Thank you for mentioning it because I didn't think of it until now. The the head is actually not attached by wood, so the the helmet is actually disconnected from the body now. It just floats? Who's to say? Them's robots what filled with spirits. Um, did you examine the same rubit or yeah. a different rubit? Yeah, I was, I was looking at the same one. Okay, so you, can, it, can I just have you roll a perception check? Ooh, here we go. 
Um, 17. Okay, you notice all the same things that Purvis does. I examine the other robot. Okay, can I have you uh, roll a <laughs> perception check? Whoop. 17. <laughs> so, <clears throat> uh, you're examining the one that has Hogger's axe in it. The axe is still there. Yeah, he did pick he, it up. He mumbled that he picked it up. Sorry, I thought you were saying you intended to pick it up. Oh, yeah, I um, He's a man of action, not Man of action. Uh, okay, so the axe is no longer in there, but you can <laughs> see where the axe was because there's a, there's a cut in the leg. Um, this robot is remarkably similar. It, it got scorched by the lightning in a slightly different way, uh, but this, inside the helm, the initials are the same. GS is also in that helm. So it's the same. It's, it's very similar. You will not find your fortune in these mechanical monsters. <laughs> I hadn't. For they have no gold to give. Yeah, they're not even. It is creepy that they're not robots. <laughs> I did expect to see some kind of. Mm, Gears. Human or mechanical, yes. Yeah. Would foolishness you, in the inside. Would you suggest these are g g g ghosts? <laughs> It's I possible. think they might be g g g g ghosts Why are you suddenly afraid of ghosts? <laughs> <laughs> We've fought many ghosts! The last ghost we, we saw! <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, they were all just regular people. You oh. have seen a ghost, Andre? Yeah, he was a creepy wizard and he turned us into zombies! <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea Andrew was so afraid of ghosts. <laughs> Come, we must fly. Uh, Don't worry. Did we Andrew, level up? Did we level up recently? Oh, no, okay. you did not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're very, very close. Dear Hogan, will you protect me? Of course. Oh, okay. Uh. So here's the thing. Okay. I, I query the group. We are about an hour and a half's walk from the ladder I carved in the wall. Mm -hmm. Um. I could summon us. Horses to ride, uh, but we would then have to leave them at the base of the wall. However, if we walked to the wall, I could summon them atop the wall, and then perhaps we would have use of them for much longer. Uh, just a quick clarification: so the wall that that you carved the ladder into is directly south of where you are. Uh, the all of the stuff that you saw is southeast. Is they're yeah. not necessarily yeah, yeah. exactly in the same point. Right. Yeah. How many horses can you summon? Um. Well, it depends. If I'm summoning riding horses or war horses. Um, we only really need riding horses. Yeah. I need war horse. horse. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I need a war horse. Perhaps this doesn't bear mention, but the, the horses will also <laughs> suffer from the cold. Uh, they're, they're fey creatures, so they would just dissipate again and go back to their... So uh, they wouldn't, like, die. Okay. You know, they wouldn't suffer actual pain or death. Good. Uh, I could summon eight riding horses Jeez. or four Dude. war horses. <laughs> is, this war a, horse. is this a spell or an attribute? Uh, it's conjure animals. Okay. Page 225. What can't lightly attribute? I know. <laughs> I can't fail the mayor. No. Not ever. What is that? Futurama. Oh. Um, so when Lila is doing all this, I sneak Pervince away. Whoa. Doing what? I was just talking. We're deliberating. Yeah. Okay. The improvements. Wait. Okay. So you used. Uh, you have you used call lightning twice or once? I used it. But then had a rest. I think. Yeah. We've had, oh, a we had a rest. I got everything right. back. Yeah. How, j just out of curiosity, yeah. how many third level spell slots do you have? Third level? Yeah. Cut, uh, that's doing something. Yeah. I'm oh, okay. Something else. Uh. Uh. Three. Cool. Why do I only have two or three second level slots? I feel like I should have more. What's going on here? So I sneak Pervins away and I say, yeah, Pervins. Yeah, I'll go. You've proven yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to look days. weak in front of the others. <laughs> but will it be you who protects me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is a heartwarming moment. Dear Hogger, I would defend you to the very death. Good. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. 
Hager was just putting up a front I, when he away. said shove off. <laughs> then I immediately walk away. And you like push him and you're like, fuck yeah. y'all, fuck yeah. off, Pervin. Yeah. <laughs> Get uh, off my dick. dick. <laughs> yeah. It hurt it hurt Hogger to say shove off last night, but he had to put up a front. It was a great gets, moment. Yeah, yeah. It's beat up, dude. Yeah. He oh my fails. god. <laughs> you do every time. <laughs> uh so you, you guys have kind of been uh, examining the creatures, having heartwarming moments, all yeah. of which is great. Uh, but <laughs> you are you're close to uh, feeling the, the cold bite of the blizzard. I start Hogger on fire. That's <laughs> 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 good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Did you make the war? Yeah, horses? what's our horse situation? Uh, what do it, we want the horses below the wall or atop the wall? Why would we want horses on top of a wall? <laughs> it's a wide wall, and I figure we may have to ride for quite some time. Mm. I shall be moved by helmet sled, whether that sled is pulled by man or beast <laughs> means no difference to me. I'm, I can pull Pervins. Pervins, I, I freaking love that idea. None of us have any rope. We gotta have rope. I, I specifically do not mention that I have rope. <laughs> 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 I, I go, oh, yeah. Alas, you are correct, Andrew. Rope does not remain to be seen. Didn't we <laughs> use rope on some planet when someone fell down a hole? Yeah, that was our home planet. That was a long time ago. And that was before the, that... Actually, yeah, we might have lost our packs. Yeah, we? we lost our packs. Yeah. They took everything but our weapons. You yeah. don't have rope on you? I have no rope. Prove it! Empty your pockets! Andre turns her pockets inside out. Little, like, flies come out. And a bunch of gold. Don't we still all have our own money? <laughs> no, little, they took our money, too. They took our money? Out. I think they took our money, right? They Wiley did. Yeah, scare, yeah, yeah. But I'm surprised to learn this. No, yeah. no. no you I was loaded. Empty your pockets. The only, the only I items I that you guys have, have on you are uh, like the armor are that you were wearing yeah. and, uh, and your weapons. But did I get a little small pieces of scrap metal from the robots? Yeah, they're definitely like flakes of metal. Okay, uh, so I can like car Yeah, I got those like little pieces of scrap metal for my costume pack and the little pieces of wood. <laughs> I'm really okay. excited. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, gonna pay so off. The, the, the pieces of metal it's and the pieces of wood off. are are <laughs> very very like small bits. Yeah, they're not, yeah. They're not huge. It'll yeah. pay off. It'll pay off. Okay. Exactly what <laughs> might, one might use Fetch some coins in some coins. kind of bizarre costume. <laughs> yeah, I got it. that I can't even imagine right now. I really like that Pervin's misses his costume so much that he's willing to like pick up random yeah. garbage yeah. off Those the ground. Those costumes have come in handy. Remember when we had to sack the inn and Pervin's pretended to be a wagon salesman? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought or, you were an or ale, ale salesman, ale salesman with the wagon. Yeah. Yeah. Wagon sale. <laughs> Pardon me, banditos. Would you like a wagon? <laughs> no? Okay. Delali, I fear it is up to you to determine whether we summon the horses now or Yeah, it's your thing. It's, it's whatever you're For feeling. fuck's sake. Um, maybe you can do four riding horses to the wall and then four riding horses on top of the wall. Diversify. That, uh, Time also, slips away, that's, Delalia. That's very tiring for Also, me. I gotta be honest. I mean, look at us. Pervy and me are real little. You probably only need two horses. Oh, so little. Three. <laughs> no, because we'll, I'll ride with you, or oh. I'll ride with Hogger. You know, oh, they, yeah. you, we, it so makes little. no difference. It, it, it expends the same amount of energy either way. I don't understand your magic. <laughs> it takes a little out of me. <laughs> I've never met a person who can summon animals. This Here, is weird for me to let grasp. Me, let me explain it to you this way. Okay. Visualize it as though I have a certain number of, uh, mm, let's call them slots, that I can use. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, energy slots, mm -hmm. and then I get too tired. And what do you do? You just imagine an animal and it exists? Yeah, more or less, yeah. Fantasy I call week. upon the powers of nature and my fey brothers and sisters, and they come and help us out, if Sounds they're so willing. Like a g -g -g ghost, 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 ghost. <laughs> there's, there's a ghost! There's, there's a ghost! They're spirits, they're friendly, they're good. Okay. Everyone just pipe down, what the hell are we doing? Um. <laughs> Just, just a quick, chill, just a quick chill. interrupt. Uh, you, every, the whole party takes nine damage. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay. I go. Oh God, it's cold. Fine. <laughs> and I summon four, three, two, two war horses. <laughs> <laughs> two war horses. <laughs> <laughs> I need a war horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I can't do math. What do the war horses look like? 
I'll tell you in a second. Yeah, do we have a picture knows. of a warhorse? I have a description here. What's the page? Uh, page uh, 311 of the, what you call it? Monster the player guide. Oh, okay. Uh, they have. They look like a war horse. <laughs> 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 they have, you know, riding stuff and like armor. The like, the, the way that I armor. envision yeah. war horses is uh, in good. this in this world. They they make armor specifically for the horses, and so they they look like really strong, really well bred horses with plate armor on them. So it's actually pretty yeah. nice armor. Yeah, these are insane horses. Yeah. Spikes on yeah. them. Druids. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, I have someone try to lift me atop this beast. So I get onto one and I pull. You summoned two, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you summoned right in front of you? Yeah. Okay. And I, I, I get on one and I say, Pervins, do you want to ride with me or Hogger? Uh, Hop aboard, Pervins. And then I, I reach a hand down for Andre. Put my one pull hand you up. up. Yep. And put her behind me. Okay. Actually, probably make more sense if you're in front of me. We ride off. Like Mary. I start Tippin. riding. The and then I, I ride up to catch up because Hogger doesn't know where the hell he's going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These. Uh, so you were. This is the. This is the first time you summoned war horses. Yes. An unexpected result oh, occurred. Oh no. Uh, Mutated. <laughs> one of the horses is pink. Oh. And the other horse is baby blue. Oh. The, the the horse that Hogger and uh, Permits are riding is baby blue, and the one that you and Andrea are riding is pink. Big pink. Uh, I just have an RP question for you, Hogger. Yeah. Boys and girls, it went boys and girls. Yeah, assuming traditional gender roles. Yeah, mm, yeah pink could be boy. It could be a boy. Actually, pink was boy. The pink, until, the like, pink the is male, and the blue is fun. female. Yeah. 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 Mm. Back in the early days of American culture, blue, or blue was for girls, and pink was for boys. There's a resurgence in the early 2000s. I just in wanted to make them pink yeah. and blue for pink no reason. Punk. No, yeah. I just wanted to do pink it. For, is just, that was just for me. Anyway, so uh, I, I go f ahead of you and start heading south. Hold, hold oh, on. Hold happening. on. Before we, before, oh. we, before we get off, I have an RP question for you. Occasionally, I will do this if I feel like an action contradicts a character. Okay. Uh, you saw these horses being summoned with magic. They are unnatural creatures. He's seen me do this before. Yeah. True, but he's never actually like been on top of one. I'm used to animals. Uh, when he turned into a bear, I rode him. So she she turned into a bear. I rode her. So okay. I I I think Hogger is extremely comfortable with the animal side of magic. I've explained to him like actually, actually uh, in story, that I have explained to him like four times that, that it's, it's like nature, nature magic, yeah. not arcane, because yeah. I don't like arcane magic either, really. Okay, cool. Because that's burned no down problem. the forest. No problem. Just wanted to check. Hermans whispers to Hogger. Hogger, I fear that Delilah may be inhabited by ghostly spirits. <laughs> we should be sure to keep an eye on this. Hermans, <laughs> I'm always keeping a watchful eye. She's way too powerful. And hot. <laughs> She's very good looking, Hogger. She's probably in our heads right now. <laughs> yes. So you guys are heading south towards yeah, the wall, correct? Yeah, toward the ladder that I made. Okay. Rylia, hey, I fear Pervance might be stronger than he's letting on. He just summoned an invincible bubble shield, <laughs> unlike I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. His eyes are dark. I just right? met myself. I'm always keeping a watchful eye, okay. even on our compatriots. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mommy and daddy. <laughs> uh, so, it, it, you actually, thanks to the horses, you get to the wall very, very quickly. Um, and the rest of the party can see the, the ladder that, that Lilia carved into the wall with the burning blade. Uh, she did it very quickly, but it's it's pretty well done. Pretty well crafted ladder. Nice. Um, you guys can also see. Uh, I'm not sure if Lila you mentioned this at the party or not. I don't remember. It was a couple weeks ago. Uh, you can see uh, pieces of bone in the wall as well. Pervin's hangs from Hogger's neck so that he can climb up the wall. With him on his back. Okay. I start climbing. You were supposed to be this colossus. You were this great, powerful thing. And yet he gains. I only have one hand. 
That's his bride. Okay. You can put. You can still climb with your stub, though. Yeah, right which I plan to do as well. You know, you can still rest on his stub. Yeah, powerful's mm -hmm. wrong. Uh, this 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 ladder is. It was constructed in a way for you guys to climb it fairly easily. I don't think you need to make any rolls to do it. I think you're all capable enough of climbing the ladder without uh, worrying about failure. Lila, I, great uh, ladder. Great when ladder. We, when we arrive at the base of the ladder, I get off my horse and the take Andre down. Mm -hmm. And then I, I whisper to the horses, uh, and they dissipate. They turn into... What did you whisper What did you them? whisper? Good job. I just, yeah, I said, I said, I said, thank, I thank thee for, I spoke in Elvish, but I said, thank, I thank thee for your service. I thought it was going to be like the end of Lost in Translation, like we just never Yeah, he never knows. knows. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> when, when Lilia whispers to the horses, I want to share a suspicious glance with Pervins. Just like, did you see that? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I wouldn't trust anybody for no reason. We've got to do more horses. We saw you whispering to the horses. A uh, mystery train just arrived at my house. So you guys uh, climb to the top of the ladder. Uh, it's taken you, it's taken you uh, not tremendously long, but, but enough time that the cold still sucks. Um, you, the party takes... Wow, 18 damage oh, total. Wow. <laughs> oh god. Can we take reduced damage because we're together? Keeping each other warm. Keeping each other warm. Uh, reduction <laughs> there? That's not how that I, works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> unfortunately it's not that's not quite how it works. Uh, so you you have armor on. Yeah. And it's, it which is metal. It yeah. worth a shot. I, I appreciate it. it. <laughs> really, your metal armor is colder. Yeah. So you should take more damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm down um, to exactly the number of hit points I had before we rested. <laughs> Um, so once you guys get to the top of the ladder, you see what Lilia saw. Uh, I believe she did relay this information to you, but it, it, what's that? 18 damage? 18, yeah. Up here we don't take as much cold damage. That's correct. Uh, so it's still, it's still cold up here. You will eventually take damage, but it we'll takes much, much longer uh, okay. because you're out of the blizzard. So yes, that's actually a good point. You guys also see when you look the other direction, not like the direction of the wall, but the, the way you guys came, uh, the blizzard seems like it's like this big bubble uh, that's that's kind of this this wall is creating a, a circle and the blizzard is uh, kind of just very focused on that specific area. It is not drifting over beyond the wall. Um, the other direction, you see what is a mass grave of the things you just fought. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of seemingly non-functional sent sentinels all piled up. Looting time. They're on the other side of the wall. Hugger, I love looting. That's all just empty shells of huge robots. How do you know? So what I do is I collect clues based on what I've already seen. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've defeated two sentinels so far. Both proved to be empty. I'm assuming each of these hundreds is, will be empty as well. This could, this could be a really good thing. You assume it. Yeah. What if one it's of them costume. has riches? Or costumes. <laughs> you I mean, you can climb down there. It's a long way to go. All right. Why climb when we can fly? No, Andrew. Lilia? <laughs> Andrew, you know, I don't really care about gold. I, I, I don't have that knowledge. Well, whatever Perhaps I someday. find. Let's climb down. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, uh, dear friends, um, the glint that I saw was southeast, now east, along this wall, um, and I heard a buzzing sound. I believe that we may find some kind of answers or information if we go east along the wall top. Okay. There are, it, it, the, the sea of, of desiccated, uh, ghostly robot armor uh, doesn't seem to end. We can examine it later. Did you have to use the G word? <laughs> Uh, I, I'm sorry, I forgot about your okay. um, <laughs> from, from now on, I'm going to write this down. Uh, when Pervance and Andrea are fighting ghosts or any apparition, yeah. they have disadvantage. Oh. Great. <laughs> <laughs> you are peeing yourself right now. <laughs> Shit's the one. Yeah. I would do anything for comedy. No, it's great. I love it. Let us heed Lilia's advice and proceed down the wall. Thank you, Pervins. Uh, so, I'm sorry. You guys are <laughs> heading in the direction of the glint and the buzz, 
but you're going down the wall? No. We're or you're just going the, the wall. Okay, you're going along the, the, the wall. Okay, cool. Um, I agreed with Andre and prevented uh, scaling down the other side of the wall. For now, anyway. Hog, uh, Pervins takes off Hogger's boots and gives them back to Hogger first, though. Well, you don't need these anymore. Uh, I may call in a favor again. Um, so Pervins, you're going to be walking barefooted? Yeah, because well, you said it's not as cold up here, right? I was going to say, my pants are about twice too long for his legs. Mm -hmm. So he would be walking on my pants if he chose. We could tie them up somehow to be rudimentary shoes. Robes, I like that. No, I gave you a whole set of armor. Your pervents uh, up on my shoulders. Armor. If if pervents, if you choose to walk barefoot, it is it is less cold. But walking barefoot in the snow uh, in close to negative temperatures is, is still going to okay. mess the up your feet. The leather pants won't I'll, do anything? I'll hop on Hogger's back. I mean, the, the way that I'm envisioning it, if the pants are too big for Pervance, like, it's when you're walking, you, you... Well, I was thinking we could, like, tie them up around his ankles so that they're over his feet, and then they go up again, so they're, like, tied around his ankles. You could do that. So it's, like, rudimentary pajamas. Pa it's, yeah, it's, like it's footy the, pajamas. Like a yeah. child's It wouldn't be as good suit. as beat. <laughs> so... Yeah, like footy pajamas. That's a good idea. I like that idea. The, 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 the thing about footed pajamas is they're, you know, they're usually a specific size. They're fitted. They're, they're constructed in a certain way. Uh, if you tie it, it would be good. You could walk in it. But you'd be a little clumsy, you yeah. know. You wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to to move yeah. as proficiently. I'll I'll take the footy pajamas, but also in case in case danger strikes. But I'll climb on Hogger's back. Nice. Okay, that's that's the best of both worlds. Cool. Uh, who would like would like to tie Pervins's footy pajamas? Oh, I mean they're my armor, so I'll tie them. Okay. Pervins is very ticklish feet. <laughs> <laughs> tickle. Roll for tickle. Uh. What is that, my dexterity? Uh, raw d20 for the tickle. Oh, okay, nine. Uh, Pervins, Lilia tickles you something fierce. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Pervins, hold still. I'm trying to hold still, Pervins. <laughs> All right, that's one. I'll write a song about this later. <laughs> All right, you're 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 set, Pervin's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Pervin's like slaps Hogger like mush. <laughs> 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 I barely even feel it. Okay. I feel it. Mush. <laughs> What's um, mush? So you guys are. I think it's a kind of porridge. Ah, sounds good. You guys are traveling east along this bone wall. Uh, and you're, you're going for quite a while without really seeing anything. You know, every time you stare kind of into the dome, uh, it's, it's hard to see anything because of the blizzard. That is raging on, blinding you with whiteness. Uh, could I have everyone roll a perception check, please? Ooh, uh, three. Oh, no. oh, I got a three as God. well. Uh, you have advantage on this roll, Lily. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to use one of my inspiration points to re-roll. Uh, okay. 22. Okay. So 10. Uh, ten. Nine. What did you get? Three? Okay. <clears throat> uh, Lilia, for the first time in quite a while, you see the glint again. Uh, but it is, it is fainter now. Uh, it looks like the glint is, is roughly one mile away. So it'll take you, it, take, it will take you a little while to get there. I see the glint. I think it is about a mile away. <laughs> and it is along this wall? I believe it's along the wall. Atop so the it, wall? No, it looks like it's actually, it's, it's not atop <coughs> the wall. It looks like it's pointed inward. So as oh, you're going. Toward the center of the. Yeah, correct. I see. So we're going to have to Difficult get to say. back down. It's hard to say. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Is it even with the top of the wall, but in farther, or like it's like a light mounted on the wall facing in? It it is not connected to the wall in any way. Okay. It looks like it is. So like you guys, so you went south and you're kind of curving along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like from where you are right here, it's this direction. Okay. But away from the wall. Am I looking up or down to see the glint? You can't see anything. But I, one would right. look. 
one would look even with ourselves or below or above. So if if this is where you are at the wall, you have to look this way. Right, right, right. Just up or down? It up or down? Oh, it's down. Yes, okay. good. I see what you're saying. Yes, it's a good question. It's down. It's down significantly. Okay, Got so it. it's like near yes. the ground. Yes, okay. correct, okay. correct. <clears throat> uh, and you guys keep heading in that direction. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, everyone takes ten damage. Yeah. I now have eight hit points. <laughs> Uh, perhaps we shall stop and I may summon Don Leomund once more. Um, that's not a bad idea. Where's 2.30? The rest shall be ours. I'm so cold. If I cast Cure Wounds on myself. We stay out here, okay. I'm gonna die. <laughs> 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 I'm so cold. Andrew, you must not become a ghost. Boom! <laughs> Uh, oh, Pervins, I fear that worst of all. Pervins casts Leoman's tiny hut. <laughs> I get 11 <laughs> hit points. <laughs> for one minute. He it casts. lasts eight hours. Yeah, but he has to cast for him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, sorry, is the glint? It's where I saw it before, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's no indication that it's moving. Moving anywhere. Correct. Okay, so we can stay in the hut for a while. Mm -hmm. For, say, four hours? I'm afraid I'm gonna need another eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, why not stay for eight? All right, so mm -hmm. I'll, I'll transfer four, and then I'm gonna investigate. Scout. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're, the rest of you are sleeping for eight? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, I'll do this. Sure. In, I'll do this in a different. I'll do this in a different order. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I turn into a uh, a wolf again. Oh, cool. Because snow I snow wolf. Uh, yeah, a, a beautiful snow wolf, who's impervious to cold. Um, and I, I, run I don't believe you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I run down. Uh, they live in the Arctic. Just Did saying. Uh, but, uh, so then I want to run down and, like, look over the edge, even with the glint, to, to scout ahead. And then I'll okay. go back in trance if I don't, you know, get killed. Okay, so you're even you're giving me a lot. Uh, because you want to meditate and then do it, no, or no, no, do you no. want to do I'm it I'm doing first? this right now. They're oh, okay. all falling asleep. I'm going to take, like, an hour to go look, an hour to come back, trance for four hours, and then keep watch for two or whatever. Okay. Um... So you go, you actually kind of do line up with the glint. Uh, it's, as you get closer to it, it gets brighter. Okay. Um, can I have you roll a perception check, please? You can. Uh, 22 again. Okay. So, uh, the glint that you saw, as well as some other things, is finally taking uh, a form of sorts. Um, in the distance, uh, oh wait, real quick. Uh, when I came up to the glint, I wanted to try to be quiet. Yeah. Stealthy. You have no indication that you're in any danger okay, okay. at the moment. Um, <clears throat> yet. Uh, you see, the, the first thing you see is uh, about a half mile away, I would say. You, you, your vision is good enough that even in the storm you could, you could still see a little bit. Uh, you see something that has a very, very large, like 10 foot wide cylindrical shape. Uh, but because of the blizzard, even with your keen vision, that's kind of all you can make out. What you can make out, uh, about as tall as this cylindrical shape, maybe not quite as much, there are two things standing next to it. Uh, more interestingly, uh, it, this thing looks kind of very wiry but it's floating in the air behind the cylindrical shape. Uh, and it, and this it, is a third thing, this a is separate a th thing? This is a fourth thing. So okay, you have the yeah, cylindrical yeah. shape, you have the two, two things. Two figures and then this thing. Yeah, and it's, it, you can tell that it, it has like wing-like things because it's, it's to stay in the air, it's beating flapping. It? Is yeah, that the glint? Uh, no, so you can tell that the glint is coming off the cylindrical shape. Okay. okay. Below the flying object? Yeah, so the, he's this flying thing, above he's the flying thing? he's flying uh, on the opposite on side the, of behind me. it, basically. Okay. So opposite the thing from me. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
as you're kind of trying to discern these figures, uh, you notice that that the thing with the beating wings uh, is coming uh, not actually in the direction of you, but in the direction of the hut. <gasps> oh no! Um, and it's it's continuing on that way, like yes. quickly. Uh, yes, it is. It is. It does not seem as though the blizzard uh, affects it very much. Uh, cha cha cha. Hmm. I uh, I run full tilt back to the hut. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, as a wolf. Uh, as and as somebody who is comfortable with animal figures, you are actually able to get to the hut very, very quickly. Uh, in fact, so quickly that you do not suffer any cold damage. And uh, it seems you cannot see the flying figure anymore, and it does not appear as though it has reached the hut yet. Okay. I, uh, I know my compatriots need time to heal, mm -hmm. so I turn back into myself. Yes, that's, that's the other thing. It's been about two hours. Yeah, inside the hut. Mm -hmm. uh, I turn back into myself, and I, I'm going to post a watch for an hour and a half looking in the direction that the winged beast would be coming from. If I see it, okay. I will wake them. Okay. Uh, if I don't, I will trance. Okay. Just because I need to heal too. <laughs> <clears throat> so, about ten minutes later, can I have you make a perception check? Um, um, 13. You see nothing. Go! Uh, another 10 minutes go by. Can I have you make a perception check? 16. Uh, <clears throat> you see the wing beast coming, and it seems as though at this instance he has actually seen the hut. He can see it, uh, and is now traveling faster towards it. Can I tell what it is yet? Yes. Perhaps with a okay. nature check of some kind or yes. something. How big is it? Very big. Is it a dragoon? Oh yeah, I've got survival. I could be kicking ass. Uh, what does it look like? What is it? So, it looks like something that you've only read about in stories, but in a far more messed up way. <laughs> uh, as a child, everyone is told stories of dragons, though you've never seen them of before. Of course, yes. Uh, however, this dragon has no skin or scales. It is made entirely of bone. And in fact, icicles are clinging to its its bony, bony wings. My and God! Yeah, it looks like a reincarnated dragon uh, that that had passed. You can't, but based on its bone structure, you can't even surmise a guess as to what type of dragon it could have been. It has no eyes at all. Uh, Get the fire tiles ready. Bone. Yeah, I was gonna say, do I have any fire spells? Flame blade. I don't have any real distance fire spells. Uh, well, shit. And it's coming at us. Yes. Uh, Cannot penetrate the hut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're saving the hut, don't worry. I trance. <laughs> okay. Um, do I? I don't know. That's probably a stupid idea. Nah, you just gotta heal, man. Uh, you saw a horrifying dragon. You're like, okay, fight's coming. Yeah. I'm safe in the hut. Yeah. Fight's coming. All right. And I figure if I'm trancing, I'm meditating, so if bad shit happens, I would wake up. Like I would stop because mm -hmm. it's under my control. So if, if, it, if it attacks, boosh, yeah, if it attacks, yeah. I'll just stop. Okay. So uh, you meditate, and it, it, it takes less for five than five minutes for the the bone dragon to reach the hut. Oh my god! It, it can fly very fast. It's very capable in the storms. Um, so how long did we sleep for then? You have two slept hours. for about two and a half hours. So do we re regain any? Uh, I mean, you haven't woken up yet. We can definitely uh, cross that bridge when you guys wake, wake up. Okay. Um, so you're you're meditating. Uh, the bone dragon shoots an enormous cone of ice out of its mouth. Cone of cold. And it crashes against the hut, and it's like it's like. Icy spears, just hundreds of them simultaneously are crashing. It's it's as loud as something could be. Uh, oh, what the hell was that? All right, hold on. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Hogger, can I have you roll a raw d20 and 
Can I have everybody else? Everybody else is woken up. Th this thing is so loud uh, that you would have to wake up unless you were just, something about you was very off. Hogger, you do not wake up. Oh. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um. Now, Andrea and Pervins, you have no idea what's going on. Right. Yeah. I come out of my trance and I say, remain calm. There is a, there is an undead ice bone dragon of some kind <laughs> attacking the hut. Um, but we seem to be safe for now. <laughs> yeah, Pervin's hut was, don't worry Pervin's about it. There's nothing to be concerned hut. about. Uh, Dear Andre, hmm. did you not hear her words? A ghost dragon and an undead dragon. I said undead bone said, so dragon. Pervin's, if I must explain, uh, there is a big difference between ghost <laughs> and undead. <laughs> Which is, has a material form. It's fine. Uh, it's not like the undead? Sorry? <laughs> well, no, it's not like the undead. No, I'm perfectly fine with undead. As long as it's got some sort of uh, yeah. material form. It's okay. right there. You can see it. <laughs> yeah. uh, you it's guys, horrifying. You guys all notice that Hogger is still snoring away. Hermans, like looks at Hogger's like, a sleep person with like a skeptical look. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm going to go back to sleep like Hogger. I'm going to try to rest again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, cause I'm gonna stop trancing about an hour before the hut would go away. So I'll, uh, make sure that everyone's awake in time. <laughs> uh, so you guys are all going to try to rest. Yeah. <laughs> Leoman's okay. got our bags. Leoman's got, got, got our bags. All right. Leoman's got our bags. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> the dragon breathes on the hut again. <laughs> You all wake up. Hogger, can I have you roll? <laughs> 14. Nice. You are still asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what's my HP at right now after two and a half hours of sleep? Well, can I have everybody roll 1d12? Does my trance stop every time? Yes. I get, it looks like a mini. Uh, so, Lilia, you were not able to really trance at yeah, all for yeah, any yeah. sufficient time. So, you, 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 you actually don't get any uh, HP back, Lilia. Yeah, okay. Sorry. That's all right. Do I get another one here? You, you're still good. You don't have to do anything yet. You're still asleep. Oh, I got two. The D12. Me too. So that's, that's just raw HP? Oh, Do fuck. I get raw HP? <laughs> you're good. Don't roll well, anything. Sleeping you're for just a sleeping. Of the time. You're still sleeping. Sleeping away. Sleep, sleep. <sighs> and you were awoken in, in horror. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't great <laughs> sleep. Yeah, it wasn't so, great sleep. you guys are, are in a, a slight tricky situation. Uh, you can't seem to go to sleep with this dragon. Mm -hmm. But we changed the rules in. of the hut that we can cast spells from within it, yeah? Yes, that's correct. So OP. So, my God. I call lightning on the, <laughs> on the dragon. Okay. Purvis going back to sleep. We need to... <laughs> 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 we need to talk uh, to Chris Bergens directly. Yeah. <laughs> no, this no, hut? I, I think yeah. the hut says you can't shoot things through it, It right? says you can't. But oh, okay. we changed it yes, for some reason. You can, you can cast spells through it. Well, we, then we should not we do it now. It back, right? We should end it at this Wasn't point. Wasn't that the rule? Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. That? yeah we so change. we basically yes, that is the rule. We that, did the, I said wait, that last episode. But we did that yeah. for that instance. I'd be so fine now we're if doing it legit. legit. So we're doing it legit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because I was yeah. gonna say this is an impervious bunker so from within <laughs> which yeah. we can just you cast can, spells you can, and nausea you and can, sleep and cast spells forever. No, you can't. You can't go to sleep. It seems you well, right, right. Yeah. sleep or have been unsuccessful. So uh, you can, if you want to, like cast spells within the hut within that space. Yes, you cannot cast spells through the hut. Right. 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 Good. 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 Ah. Wait, what does that one do again? One moment, I need to read something. Uh, Purvis and Henry, do you guys try to go back to sleep? Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. It's, it's <laughs> clear to me that this thing isn't going to stop breathing on us. Hogger sleeps, Purvin sleeps. Okay, <laughs> Purvin, you are awoken again. <laughs> uh, Hogger, can you roll? <laughs> Two. Uh oh. You wake up. Dragon is woken. Uh, Hogger, can I have you roll 2d12 for heal? One. Okay. Four. You have five hit points God. restored. Man, that extra two minutes of sleep really. Alright, <laughs> 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 uh, the, the RP for that extra d12, Andrew, slash Kyle? Yeah. Hogger sleeps about tw 10 times as deeply as you guys. He sleeps hard. Every minute of rest for Hogger is like an hour of rest for you. <laughs> Deep sleep. No, not exactly that. So he can like sleep that. for eight no, minutes? No, 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 it's not exactly that. <laughs> I, was just, I was just trying to make a point. Uh, he's, Hogger sleeps very deeply. What is outside? Some bone dragon. Bone dragon. Bone dragon. <laughs> yeah. 
It's just another fool who can't touch our <laughs> Liam and Hut. I love how you guys just are like, oh, it's a dragon, I'll go back to sleep. I'll go back to sleep. I've never had the chance to fight a dragon. Just wait a minute, though. What? Lila's Honor. got a plan. Come wait, on. Wait for You're going to get plan. yourself killed. That's not If the I thing. die by the hands of a dragon, then so be it. <laughs> Uh, dear Hager, perhaps another plan. Perhaps I shall cast a spell upon this dragon. Whoa, whoa, that will, whoa. Uh, hear me out. That will uh, change its general disposition towards the crew, <laughs> bringing about friendship, if you will. Friendship. We shall mount and ride the dragon to the glint. You love mountains? I mountain? like the sound of this. Just give it a shot. <laughs> However, once the spell is diminished, the dragon will become very furious. The best of both worlds. We can ride it and then fight it. <laughs> uh huh. <clears throat> ben hates this plan. <laughs> no, no, I don't hate the plan. I think it's uh, it's an appropriate plan. I definitely think it's something Pervance would do. Which means it's bad. It's a bad plan. <laughs> it's a good plan. It's a good uh, plan. The, but I want to give you all the information that you would need to make an informed decision. Okay. So this dragon's breath, okay? It does not just, it's not a small cone. It's huge. I mean, not only does it hit the entirety of the front of the hut, it extends past it and, and hits even behind it. I mean, it, it's a big cone. Can I just stick my head out and make spells? How are we gonna kill this? Thing? Is that how we're doing this? No. We're all low on oh. health. If you stick your, your head this out, is gonna take the hits. No, that's that's not gonna work. If you if you guys the thing. the rule is if you want to cast a spell, you your your entire body will have to be outside. The and if it's a concentration spell, can I cast it outside but then go back in? Oh, yes. Right. Okay. I will. That's that's fine. That makes Didn't sense. Did he to see me. something? So should I turn this dragon into our friend? Some like two things next to it. Cylinder. Yeah, are yeah, you gonna yeah. cast charm like person? Person. Uh, friends. Let's go kill the that cantrip yeah, friends. The cantrip. Friends. On a dragon. Friends. Okay. Real quick. Uh, <laughs> the cantrip friends. Uh, <laughs> the <laughs> things standing on either side of the cylinder, were they shaped like the robot guys? The armor guy? You cannot tell. Oh, okay. But that's a good guess. That is a very good guess. So should I cast <laughs> this cantrip of friends? And then we ride the dragon. Let's give it a <laughs> shot. Yeah, the graveyard too. There's gotta be some connection. Okay, or do you guys want to fight so them? the cantrip friends, I don't know, Ow. it's it's not like a charm person. For the duration, you have advantage on all charisma checks directed at one creature of your choice that isn't hostile towards you. <laughs> oh, isn't hostile. Yeah. Oh, we've, we've already failed. It's, yeah. Also, it's just it's well. just advantage on charisma checks, so it's like you could go out and try to like talk to it. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad for With advantage. Looks like we're fighting. I do think, Pervitz, if you do continue this line of, of play, I definitely think it is something that Pervitz would do. Uh, Actually, wait a minute. Dragons are intelligent, aren't they? Generally? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Smaug would teach us, yes. I, dragons I, I shout out. Not say, all dragons, but yes. I shout out and I say, Dear friend, we mean you no harm. <laughs> what need you with us? Uh, it just keeps breathing on the hut. I say, all right, so much for diplomacy. What did you see up ahead? Oh, I saw, um, it was difficult to make out in the storm. There was a strange cylindrical reflective, was it reflecting light or was it generating light? It was reflecting light. Uh, reflective cylindrical structure, possibly a building, I'm not sure, uh, with two uh, figures, humanoid in shape, right? Uh, difficult to say. No, I wouldn't. Uh Two figures on Very side. large humanoids, if, if right. humanoids at all. Humanoids. Yeah. Uh, two large figures standing uh, on either side of it. Difficult to say if they were living or dead, robot, well, I know or not. That if I had something important. You literally woke up I would guard seven it. seconds ago. Sounds like it's time for Oh, I thought you were going to... Uh, sorry. No oh, yeah, he was not being critical I thought of you were going to be critical of me and not sharing no. this information while we're being attacked by a bone, <laughs> a bone ice dragon. Sounds like it's time for some cool covert ops. <laughs> <laughs> I've been studying the pattern of the dragon's breath. On the next time it's about to inhale for the dragon's breath, I'm gonna stealth out of this place. Weaving through the, the crystals how, left behind. 
Andre. Yeah. How confident are you in your ability to climb along the side of this wall? Not good. Again, I have merely a stump on my right That's hand. That's true. I always forget you only have one hand. You wear it well. <laughs> um, I don't know what this will gain us. I could climb along the back side of this wall. I can buy and a secret star. away. To Andrea, as you stealth away, I shall attempt to befriend the dragon. As only you can. <laughs> Hermit takes two little pieces uh, of sheet metal <laughs> and holds them in front like of dragon himself. horns. And he says to Andrea, he says, "Go, Andrea, go, stealth, stealth." Kay. So wait, Andre, are you going to mount a distraction to the beast whilst mm -hmm. I Hermits cast is, a spell upon it? Permits no. is distracting the so beast. So if, if you think about it, when you're breathing fire or ice in this case, you can't see. All you see is the fire and ice in front of you. Mm -hmm. That's my chance. That's when I stealth out. I'm but it's go. also when it's attacking. I'm very And swift. that is when Pervins approaches from the other side in plain sight. Mm. I'm going on the inhale. Oh, and I on the exhale. <laughs> no. <laughs> you will die. Trust Hermits. me, for friendship is one of the most powerful spells of all. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it work. The second it goes wrong, I'm charging in. Okay. It's flying like 40 feet away. How far mm -hmm. away is it? I would say it's only I would say it's only about between between high. five and ten feet Actually, away. Actually, wait. The, the Ooh, it's very close. close. Wait, yeah. this thing is Give undead, it to dear friends. Mm -hmm. Theoretically. Yes, I would say undead is a fair classification. I'm gonna hit him with moonbeam. If peace negotiations fall through, then yeah, yes, bring your charges, your moonbeams. <laughs> um. So I, I love that you guys are all being very proactive, but it seems like each of you has a separate plan. Yes. <laughs> uh, so Which I'll, fits. I'll have to yeah. uh, deal with you guys individually. Yeah. Two D. So who would who would like to run through their scenario first? So their scenarios are complementary to mine because while they're being idiots, yeah. I'm gonna sneak out and cast a spell on it. No, you right. Shouldn't. I just can't yeah. do I both think things simultaneously. No, no, no. At this point. Yeah, yeah. I you, think I think Moonbeam relies on. Uh, Distraction. Distraction. Yeah, exactly. And so you're going to try to distract it. No, no, no. Pervins is trying to Pervins distract it. Pervins is trying it. to peacefully negotiate with the beast. And well, during that time, if all, if it Andri fails, sne sneaks out. Yeah. And no, during, it's, it, during that, I'm going to cast Moon. I'm, gonna I'm go just saying for me, because yeah, I, I'm kind of already envisioning how this stuff will play out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it sounds like Pervins. Even first. though this will, you guys are doing it simultaneously, which is good, that's fine. Yeah. I have to deal with it individually. It's basically, right, right. It's a, it's basically Pervins talk, Andri sneak. We yeah. go out other side from Pervin's moonbeam. Yeah, that's our course of action. Hoping that the right radiant now. damage will do extra. Hogger yeah. at the okay. ready. At the ready. So, uh, Hogger going your to your dome is <laughs> ten feet. Has a ten foot radius. Okay. Yes. Oh, wait, shit. Did we determine that it goes away when Pervin's leaves the area? Yes. Okay, so the dome will go away. He's gonna oh. pop outside. He's gonna go yoo hoo. So I told this to Lilia. Uh, you, your entire body will have to be outside the hut if you want to cast a spell. Friends is a talking spell, though, isn't it? No, no, it's not. Uh, so the the radius of the dome is ten feet. Uh, the breadth on either side extends five feet past that. So width-wise, the cone has a fifteen-foot width, but it actually has a very big reach. Five feet on either side. Yeah, so like. Could be a twenty-foot width. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. It's it is twenty feet. Uh, it's a twenty-foot width in total. Five foot on either side, uh, but it has a very, very large range. So you have the ten foot of the hut. It extends twenty feet beyond that. So it's a thirty off foot off the total. other side of the wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, like twenty feet behind you. Basically. Dargan got some breath. Okay. So Pervin, I'm sorry, you can't leave. You got to keep the hut. Uh, the hut's all we have. I was really looking forward to making friends with the dragon. You can try talking to it through the hut. Yeah, just try talking to it. You don't need your magic. You're very charismatic. You, we believe in you. Ho ho, dear dragon! Uh, can I have you make a charisma check, please? <laughs> ho ho, dear dragon. <laughs> <laughs> ho ho. It's a 15 plus... Three. Three. Wait, nice. that? No, that was when I had my robes. Oh, that's robes. when you had your magic robes. But I have plus five persuasion, though. Uh, I'm not persuading him. Right, so this, is just a char this is just a charisma 18. check. 18. 18. So did you roll a 15 and you're adding your charisma? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so you can tell the dragon does not... So he was breathing in regular intervals. Uh, basically every chance he could he was taking a big breath. Uh, he stops for, for a bit. 
it seems he is aware that you're speaking to him. He acknowledges that someone inside this thing that he's trying to destroy is communicating with him, but he does not give any verbal or physical uh, response, mm -hmm. other than like that brief pause. I know you know we're talking to you. <laughs> Dear Dragon, uh, spare us lives and, and provide us a flight service and we have gold beyond riches for you. <laughs> the dragon uh, seems unmoved by your, your, your attempts at persuasion and continues breathing. Mm. Do dragons count as beasts? Living ones might. So a living one would. This, this dragon is not alive. So I couldn't use a spell, what lets me talk with beasts? Uh, I would say, I would say no, unfortunately. Bollocks. Hmm. Now, there is a way, this, this, this be this, not this beast, it's not a beast. This creature does have a property to it. You could, if you had the capability, you could speak to it this way. I cannot speak with the dead. I can speak with plants. It's not a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I could use divination. Uh, I would think about the sentinels uh, as you deal with this creature. I think I think that what you were saying before, dear Hogger, there must be some source to these beast powers. Yeah, it's just the armor for sure. Right. Perhaps this dragon is also linked to that source. The Glint Eastward? Yes. <laughs> do you do you feel confident? How much time do we have left on this hut? We have They uh, seem to last about eight hours, we yes. Have, uh, yeah, give or take. Six, six hours? hours? No. Yeah, I would say you have five and a half. A little, yeah, we have yeah. five and a half. Do yeah, you feel you have quite a bit of time. Do you feel confident that you can survive if I go and try to see if that cylinder can shut these all down? Sounds like ghost talk to me. Wait, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Lilia, be honest with you. Are you doing ghost talk right now? No. Okay. No ghosts. All right. Okay. I will. I will be using my spider climb technique to go on the opposite side of the wall, out the back of the hut, so the dragon cannot see me, oh. and scuttle along. To get back to the, to I gotta the be sun. honest. That's a really cool plan. I kind of wanted to do covert ops, but you seem like you I could can, actually. I can, you're uh, actually capable of pulling it off. You both go. I can carry you with me. Handle this. Can you? We can. I can yeah, carry you can. on my back. You weigh like fucking eighty pounds. Okay, let's do it. All right. Go. Uh, so, Andre will hop on my back. Mm -hmm. I spider climb upon myself. Okay. Uh, and you're still in the hut. S while still in the hut. Um, and then I, I skittle scattle during a breath, right? Because it, it the, there'd be a, a cone of safety right behind the hut. Yeah, we're used where to it. it doesn't so oh. <clears throat> there is a cone of safety. So remember that the top of this wall is quite wide. Yeah. Um, there is a cone of safety. There's about a ten foot. The like because the the sh the dome shields like the ten feet behind directly behind the dome. Yeah. So that that area directly behind, you will not get hit by the breath. Okay. But huh. to climb down the wall, no matter what, you will have to go in the direction of the breath because like your dome your dome is like in the center. No, we're going on the back side of the we're wall. We're going on the back side of the wall on the the dead people side of the wall. Yeah. Not the storm, Oh, so, so you're like going out the hut? Yeah. I'm going out the back of the hut. Like, here's dragon, here's hut, here's the edge of the wall, which I assumed was right on the... I thought the hut took up the whole top of the wall, but like, I'm going to go out the non-dragon side on the other side of the wall and climb along the side of the wall with He's spider He's going to see us. The perfect he, theoretically, he won't see us at all. Okay, can I have you make a stealth check? Because I'm okay. assuming you're, you're trying to not be seen. Yes. I'm going to go during a breath. Yeah. So that he's distracted. How much stealth do I have? Uh, 14. Okay. This is just like a straight roll against me, basically. Showdown. Showdown. You were successful. Woo! 
Woo! Mighty. Take that, uh, so you, you you dungeon, dungeon master. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Providence! Uh, you, uh, you Felicity. on the mass grave side, correct? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. So, in a... With Andrew on my back, and I'm mm. spider climbed to the side of the thing, and I'm going... Can I have you make a dexterity check? It keeps my hands free, so I can I can hold Andrew on, too. Because the sure. spell keeps my hands free. But my, the, okay, so bear with me. The, the way that I'm envisioning this is you're you're moving very quickly because yeah. you don't want to you want to go in between breaths. You're climbing on the side of the wall, so you kind of like go out and then you're like, okay, now I'm. Yeah, yeah. So you're forgetting who you're dealing with. I rolled a twenty-two. <laughs> twenty-two. I'm like skitter, 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 uh, scurry, scurry. So, <laughs> Andrew, you are holding on to Lilia like it's it's a it's a horse that you've had your entire life that you've yeah. raised from a pony. Yeah. To a stallion. <laughs> Making a cool face the entire <laughs> time. Making a cool too. face the yeah. entire time. We're both, we're both just like we're both just like very stone faced, very cool. Yeah. Just like just we do this every day. Yeah. yeah. Like. <laughs> You're like, why don't I do this more often? <laughs> yeah. uh, and and Lilia, you you move so swiftly and so deftly. It's it's majestic to behold. Cool. Uh, so using my, uh, I actually do have a skill where I remember things very well and like can't get lost. What is that called? I don't remember. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's something. It's something. <laughs> I just don't want to fall into that trap. Yeah. I, I got skill. the skill. Where I can uh, like... Actually, as a rogue, I can cast Liamon's Tiny Hut. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is it? Where is it? Uh, wanderer. Excellent memory for maps and geography. Can always recall surroundings. Nice. And find food for self and okay. up to five others in reasonable areas. That's Thank cool. you. Thank you for humoring me. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, using my my didactic memory, I can uh, I, I I remember almost hopefully almost where the cylinder was, and then we crest the wall at that point. Oh, cool. We don't even need to see it because yeah. she just remembers. Right. That so works. that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really good. Take a point of inspiration for that. I nice. like that. That's very very good thinking. Um, yeah. Uh, Meanwhile, yes. Hermes distracts the dragon. Oh no! Right. Oh god! Calling from the hut. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, dragon. Uh, perhaps your breathing can be attributed to an asthma. You may <laughs> want to see an apothecary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Fantastic. Just uh, trying to cheer him up. <laughs> is the dragon mad? Uh, the dragon. The, the undead bone dragon uh, shows no emotion, uh, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Uh, and he does not pause. Like your father. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long is the interval? Yes, breathe. good question. I was waiting for somebody to ask that very specific question. So he'll breathe. The breath <laughs> lasts for luf- roughly 10 seconds. Then there's a 15 second break because okay. he's breathing in again. So he breathes out and he goes and that it's a he, it's please a big big breath. So it takes about die. fifteen. It ta- sorry. So the breath lasts for fifteen seconds, and then it takes him about ten seconds to breathe in and breathe out again. During the fifteen second interval. Uh, no, it's a ten. It's a ten second. During the during when he's not doing it, when he's taking a breath, yeah. I step outside and spit on him and step back. Oh. God nice. damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll for spit. All right. Before we spit. do this, uh, can I have you roll a just raw d twenty? Uh oh. Oh god. Four. Bro, use the point of inspiration if you got I one. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, so okay. unfortunately, <laughs> your uh, attempted insult uh, may still be successful, but you will not be able to to go back into the hut in time. You will take a little bit <laughs> of damage from the, the breath. <laughs> uh, now make a make a spit check, please. Fifteen. <laughs> you successfully spit on the dragon. In fact, uh, it has hollow eye sockets. You actually spit into its hollow eye sockets. Nice. Uh, being made of bone, it doesn't seem to mind that Aww. you spit on it. Uh, in fact, the the spit lands on its spine and it freezes. You know, it's just got a little speck of ice on its spine. Uh, you take damage from the breath. Oh my God. How many hit points do you have right 29. now? 29. <laughs> oh, that's a ton. You're doing great. Yeah, 19. It's a lot of dice. <laughs> yeah, a lot you of You take 25 damage. What the oh, hell? Four health. There's no way we're like killing this thing by normal means. <laughs> I love how you said, and I quote, you take a little bit of damage <laughs> <laughs> from the breath. <laughs> <laughs> Woof! Probably should have used I the word know. little there. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> you take an astronomical amount of breath damage. Perfect. Now keep this in mind, you did not actually take the full brunt of it. Yeah. So Yeah, that's uh, a little bit of the breath. When you when you are breathed on, it is like it is like a dozen knives just shoot into you. Pervance. My ferocious spit has no effect <laughs> on this beast. <laughs> It is entirely up to your harsh words. I told everyone it was a ghost. They did not believe me. I don't know what the hell it is. Pervin's cast healing word on Hogger. Okay. No, save it. Oh. Save it. Dear your Hager, forehead points. It's not gonna matter. I swore to protect you, dear Hogger. All right. It's just the two of them now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One hit point. One. I will do it at second level, so I'll roll again. Okay. Three, so four. Okay. <laughs> back to eight. <laughs> <laughs> Can we cut back to us now? Uh, unfortunately, we have to cut, cut. Oh. The whole thing. Cut, cut. Uh, we are, we are out of time for today's what episode. What exciting thing! What yeah. Next? Uh, hats off to everybody. I think, I think everybody did an amazing job. Very humorous moments. Very good thinking through things. That was a good session. So thank you, and we will see you next week on Tabletop Adventures. Thanks for Bye. Watching. Thank you.